ఓం నమస్తే హోప్ ఎవరి వన్ ఈస్ హ్యాపీ వీఆర్ మూవింగ్ టు ది లెవెంత్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆర్ ది లెవెంత్ చాప్టర్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ అండ్ జర్నీ ఆఫ్ మహోతార్ బాబాజీ ఇన్ దిస్ చాప్టర్ వీ విల్ సీ వాట్ మెసేజ్ బాబాజీ ఈస్ లైక్లీ టు గెట్ అండ్ వాట్ మెసేజ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ ఆన్ ద డిపార్చర్ ఆఫ్ సిద్ధర్ భోగనాథర్ బాబాజీ ఈస్ టోటలీ కన్ఫ్యూస్డ్ బికాస్ ఈ కెనాట్ టర్న్ డౌన్ ది ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ గివెన్ టు హిమ్ బై భోగనాథ సిద్ధర్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ బట్ ఫర్ ది సిద్ధర్ భోగనాథర్ బాబాజీ వుడ్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ అటైండ్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ పాపులారిటీ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ మెయిన్ ల్యాండ్ Lanka has become the churning point in the life of Mahathar Baba Ji for which the sole cause is Siddhar Bhavanathar. Baba Ji cannot go beyond Siddhar Bhavanathar. He cannot seek the advice of anybody in Lanka because that would constitute something which will not be accepted in the spiritual parlance. Babaji is still growing, still on the journey of spirituality, on the journey of understanding the divinities. He has just met his guru. Mahathar Babaji was looking for his father in Bhoganathar size. This cannot be discounted by even Mahathar Babaji. With the status remaining as it is, Babaji decided to put forth his prayers before Lord Muruga at Kadirgama. One fine day morning, in a Maga Nakshatra, Babaji goes to the Armoga Swami temple, Kadirgama, attends the morning prayer. On that day, he doesn't take any food and goes and closes his door. The disciples of Mahathar Babaji are perplexed about the action of Mahathar Babaji. Babaji did not want anybody to have a guesswork on his closing the door. He opens the door and he informs the member, please do not disturb me. I want to be alone for some time. I will myself open the door and come back to you. Having given this message, the disciples of mahat or baba ji keep some barricade outside the door so that other disciples who come and try to knock the door will get an indication that they should not knock the door two members from the disciple group just wait outside in order to ensure that even by mistake nobody goes there and disturbs mahat or baba ji Mahavatar Babaji prays to Lord Muruga, O Lord, I am in the asylum of your place. It is not so easy for anyone to come here, but I have been able to come up to this place. By virtue of coming to this sacred place, I have been able to visit at least one. ఫైవ్ సాక్రెట్ శివలింగాస్ నగులేశ్వరం కోనేశ్వరం తొండేశ్వరం మున్నేశ్వరం అండ్ కేతేశ్వరం ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఏబుల్ టు క్లెయిమ్ ది శివన్ వలి పాదం పదిత మలై ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఏబుల్ టు విజిట్ దేవసుమన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఏబుల్ టు విజిట్ ఆర్మోగ స్వామి టెంపుల్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ హ్యాపెండ్ బై వర్చువస్ ఆఫ్ being the disciple of Siddha Bhavanathar. But I will not be able to disobey the orders of my Guru. My mind is not picking up any momentum to go to the mainland. How do I counter? How do I come out of this complex situation? Please show me a way out. I plead to you. This is the essence of prayer. Babaji places behold Kadargama Murugan Armugasami
அஷ்டனிஷயங்களை ஆறுமுகசாமி ஷண்முக முருகா அப்பியர்ஸ் பிஃபோர் மஹாத்தார் பாபாஜி அண்ட் ஹி கிவ்ஸ் இஸ் தர்ஷன் டு மஹாத்தார் பாபாஜி டேக்கன் பை அ ஷாக் பை தி பிரைட் லைட் என்ட்ரிங் இஸ் ரூம் விச் வாஸ் அட்டர் டார்க் மஹாத்தார் பாபாஜி மேக்ஸ் எ சாஷ்டாங்க நமஸ்காரா ஐ எம் ஸோ வர்ச்சுவஸ் டு ஹேவ் தி தர்ஷன் ஆஃப் யூ I am able to see Shiva Parvati, Ganesha in your own Swarupa. I again ascribe all these happenings before me to my Guru, Bhoganatha Siddhar. Now, Babaji feels that this is a miracle. After a while, he recopes and again put forth the same application same pleading same prayer with the kadrigama murugan oh lord i do not know what to ask before you i am forgetting all words here and now please remember yourself what was my prayer what is my prayer and what is going to be my prayer understanding all about me please grant me some clarity for my perplexed questions for which i am not able to get an answer lord muruga o oh child you must first listen to your guru whatever may be the instruction he has given to you do not even show a small indication that you are not willing to obey his order whatever you see whatever you decide may not be true your guru knows what is to be given to you what assignment has to be reposed on you where the assignment has to be given to you all such things are known to your guru just blindly follow your guru other than that i will not be able to add anything to you you take my own case i left my brother for a small insignificant fruit i left my parents i left my entire family and came to south and i was wandering in places where there was no human inhabitants at all it was too difficult to be alone not only that it is too difficult to be away from parents what pain you are undergoing much more than that your parents would have undergone and would be undergoing also just relate yourself to that situation after me coming here i have been recognized on this earth after myself coming to the south to the palani hills only i was recognized even by my parents in fact my parents came here in search of me including my brother it was a mountain which was not inhabited by any human being in the same way when you came to kadirgama also it was a dense forest filled with all wild animals after your arrival what had happened today where you stand today how you are recognized today how you are respected today how you are revered everything you yourself owe to mahasiddha bhoganath so pack your luggage and move to the mainland there are bigger responsibilities from all corners of the world to be loaded on your shoulder it is not only responsibility for you it is going to be an honor also for you do not turn down anything which comes on your way carry on the journey as it comes as guided by your guru your guru's vakyas your guru words are supreme there is no question of doubting the guru there is no question of ascribing any remarks on your guru's words 
you are going to be one of the most divine souls one of the most divinities in the days to come you will attain ever shine status in a glorious place and your name will remain eternally as long as this universe is there mahatar baba ji did not know what to speak what to answer how to thank armuga sami kadirgama murugan for the supreme guidance what he has given he just nods his head and pleads with one final request i want to make before you o oh lord can i have the darshan of your whole family immediately lord muruga gracious mahatar baba ji with his family valli devane ay devasena shiva parvati ganapati behind with their own vahanas and their own vehicles a beautiful full to the content of heart of mahatar baba ji he gets a darshan of the entire shiva family and he is so happy he is so happy in a fraction of minutes all disappear from mahatar baba ji's darshan murugan remains there only murugan remains mahatar baba ji before you pack and go hear some words from me and carry with you this will help you on your journey towards the spiritual life and guiding murugan advises mahatar baba ji some secrets about the creation of lanka itself he says lanka was earlier ruled by kubera kubera gets the lanka to rule as the wealth god from mahavishnu ravana happens to be his cousin brother having taken the position of kubera's pushpa kavimana now ravana takes over the lanka also and kubera is left alone kubera is a yaksha ravana is a rakshasa a yaksha cannot fight with rakshasa as a result kubera had to concede lanka and ravana starts possessing lanka after leaving lanka kubera builds a place kubera patna in himalayas it is named as alaka in the himalayas i had in my previous video referred to that mahatar baba ji has shown me on 22nd september 2008 kubera patna when he took me to his swarna swarga ashrama you can see that video to know more about it alkapuri or alkavati is also the name different names it they are called generally alka is called as kubera patna where from the entire wealth for the earth comes not only for the earth even for the upper world also is graced only by kubera even today it is a rich treasure of glory splendorous order what is possessed by kubera ravana is no more kubera is still there what is possessed by force from others will stay shorter what is renounced to others will come in multiples and stay with us and our name also will stay eternally is a lesson one we have to learn from this episode ever since lanka was taken away by ravana ravana wanted to fortify the lanka in order to do that one there was a link between mainland present india 
and the present Sri Lanka connectivity was there with land surface road available. But as per the account given by Mahathar Babaji, Ravana ever since it takes over, Lanka does not want anybody to rule Lanka after him. As a result, he physically cuts off Lanka from mainland and after detaching, he takes five faces of Shiva with five anchor points, with five sacred Shivalingams, what we discussed there. Again, I would like to repeat Nakuleshwaram, Koneshwaram, Thundeshwaram, Munneshwaram and Keteshwaram. I do not know this will be unearthed in the history or not. Babaji gave an account that having installed these five sacred Ishwara Lingams around Lanka, Ravana invokes the power of Lord Shiva. Ravana is a great, great devotee, disciple, bhakta of Lord Shiva. Ravana lived for thousands and thousands of years. At least 60 to 80 thousand years he lived. And there was a curse on him that from Surya Vamsha, a king by name Sri Rama will take birth and put an end to the atrocities of Ravana. Although Ravana was Rakshasa, a Brahmana, still he was very decent, very pious and his enmity was only thrown towards Mahavishnu and none others. He was keeping all his subjects in control as well as in happiness, is the account Mahathar Babaji gave. It is because of the play of the Maya, Ravana had to abduct Mata Sita Devi, but for that he would not even look at the feet of a woman also. He was a pious, he was an expert in Chaturveda, he was expert in Agama Shastras. Even today the Agama Shastras are available in only in two languages, one in Sanskrit and one in Tamil. Ravaneshwara was a Tamil Pandit, a Jyotisha, a Vedic scholar. Nothing is unknown to Ravana. With this kind of knowledge, Ravana fortifies Lanka with five sacred lingams, what we discussed. At the time of installing and performing Pranapadishta of the sacred lingams, Ravaneshwara invokes all the powers of Shiva into these lingams. The powers of Lord Shiva, which are Panchakritya, all are invoked and induced into the powerful sacred lingams around Sri Lanka. As a result of invoking and infusing Panchakritya powers of Lord Shiva, all the five lingams gather enormous power of Srishti, Stiti, Laya, Trayobhava and Anugraha of Lord Shiva. As a result of which these lingams become Panchavakra Shiva Lingas. Lord Muruga says, I am witness to all this and I have given Upadesham to Lord Shiva as well as Lord Brahma. I know the power of Ravana who was so mighty, who cannot be subdued by anybody on any part of the universe. That was his power. And those powers have been infused into this Pancha Ishwaram, consisting of five lingams. Babaji gave me some clarity that Nakuleshwaram represents Srishti, 
the creation grace of the lord the koneshwara lingam is signified by sthiti or preservation grace of the lord the tondeshwara lingam is represented for laya destruction or dissolution of the matter and non matter created by maya treya bhava is concealment as well as revival grace of the lord shiva which can signify when connected to the munneshwaram finally the anugraha the grace of salvation revealment or revelation could come to anyone if the grace falls on that particular individual from the keteshwara lingam hope you will understand the secret significance of the panche ishwara lingams or pancheshwaram at lanka lanka is such a sacred land one cannot ignore lanka one cannot forget lanka in our life at least one should visit some of the sacred places to get some kind of grace into our life it is the will of almighty that led to sita mata to ashokavanam or sita mata temple which is in novara elia as of today we will contain the next episode let us see what is going to be there some more secrets about lanka can be explored in the next chapter or in the next episode till such time om sadguru baba ji namaha om sadguru baba ji namaha om sadguru baba ji namaha Oh Lord, I do not know what to ask before you. I am forgetting all words here and now. Please remember yourself. What was my prayer? What is my prayer? And what is going to be my prayer?